searching for answers. She says her daughter got an eye infection, a severe one, after swimming at Fox Island County Park. As News Channel 15 Sarah Schaefer explains, the health department is now getting involved. Ashley Snyder claims what was supposed to be a fun day here at Fox Island quickly became a scary situation for her daughter. Now she's asking for answers. It was a normal day until Snyder's daughter, Caitlin, got out of the water and Snyder noticed a bump on her eye. The family claims in a matter of hours, it only got worse. I mean, her eyelashes are flipping out of the eye because it was so swollen. Um, it was pretty purple, pretty red, and um, just... It was huge. Eventually, Snyder and her husband took Caitlin to the hospital. Now, after two different opinions, Snyder thinks the infection came from the water. They looked at it and looked for bug bites, anything that could have set that off, and said, you know, she hasn't had sinus infections, there's no bug bite. The only explanation is the bacteria that could have been in the lake. After making multiple calls regarding getting the water tested, she decided to post a photo of Caitlin to Facebook. No one would say anything publicly, so I did. Then the Department of Health received some calls. They offered her to do some testing at Fox Island. The department administrator says right now the water isn't posing danger. I've got really no medical documentation or anything pointing towards any concerns in the water. Test results could answer that by the end of the week. We know there will be bacteria in that water. That's normal. We all have to know that when we swim in lakes and ponds. So we ran that kind of sample. We also ran a sample to make sure there's no E. coli in the water, that type of thing. In the meantime, thanks to medicine, Caitlin is getting better and hopes to finally have her first day of school, which was supposed to be Monday. She's just back to her normal self. Um, she's excited about going to school for the first time, which hopefully will be tomorrow. Caitlin continues to get better every day, so the hope is that soon this will all be over. Reporting from Fox Island, Sarah Schaefer, News Channel 15.